I've been getting a lot of emails from different loved ones about people who have killed themselves. My next door neighbor two months ago, she just killed herself. Tons of veterans I know, they killed themselves. I got an email two weeks ago from a family member that an 11 year old boy killed himself from people at school bullying him. One thing about life is that people in life, they are the ultimate puppet masters. They exploit your weakness and they love to walk you around life and own space in your head. One of the biggest ways to cut those strings and walk on your own two feet to your own destination in life is to build self-respect, self-esteem, self-discipline, all those things. Stay hard is not just about going to the gym. Stay hard is about going that extra step. That's what builds self-esteem and self-respect. Stay hard. I want to see that guy who immersed himself in hell and he thought about quitting and leaving and and his wife and his kids and why am I here? Is it, is it worth it? It still said and found out a way to get through it. So basically that's that, that's the bottom line of it all. We all want to read about how we can quickly get somewhere. That's why the six minute ad is so powerful. You may get some results from it, but they're not permanent. The permanent result comes from you. I say it all the time. You have to suffer. You have to make that a tattoo on your brain. So when that hard time comes again, you don't forget it. A good human being doesn't need to do that. A fulfilled human being doesn't need to break anyone down. All they do is want to build you up. So anybody you meet that calls you out of your name, that bullies you, that messes you up, that, that makes you feel not lifted, they are dealing with something deep-rooted. Yeah, you have to have a tough tone with some people to help them out. There's a difference. You have to be hard. I'm hard on people, but it comes from a good place. What separates me from a lot of people is they go into an a daunting task and the task is overwhelming like when I heard the pull-up record was 4,020 pull-ups and I was talking about breaking this record people are like oh my god I went right to a pen and paper like, what are you doing I'm doing the math man what are you talking about I'm open-minded to the fact that okay if I do five pull-ups on the minute for so many hours I can get so many pull-ups in how much time to have to rest I was breaking the math down you have to be open-minded to the possibilities that I can do this once you shut your mind down to the possibility that it can be achieved, there's no way it can happen. So that's why my, my eyes and my body light up about things. Because I know that if you're in a fight, you have to attack. You have to keep attacking. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul of whatever the in front of you.